Hey guys, welcome to another episode of High School Songs and Memories, where I talk about songs that I heard in high school, and I talk about the memories I get, it gave me. Now, we're on day 11, I'm going to be talking about Jimi Hendrix's Hey Joe. Now, this song is kind of a good place for me, because this is my, this is actually my um, startup song. Anytime I play bass, or 90% of the time I play this thing here, I always play Hey Joe by uh, Jimi Hendrix. Like, it's been, it's kind of been ingrained in my, like, head. Like, even if I don't play my bass guitar for, like, a year at a time or for, like, a long while, anytime I play, uh, I play it again, Hey Joe is usually one of the first songs that pop into my head. And for me, that's actually quite cool and good. Um, the thing is, Hey Joe is, a song a, a friend of mine actually got me into because he's a big Jimi Hendrix fan and at the same time he's a big CCR fan, uh, CCR fan and Jefferson uh, Airplane fan or the uh, Jefferson Starship but either way he was a fan of like he's a fan of the Beatles of course but he's usually a fan of the 60s and 70s era of rock music where it's not considered classic rock but yeah it is classic rock now but it still resonates, like, everybody knows at least one song from each person. And one of the songs that he got it, like, I think one of the first songs by Jimi Hendrix he got me into was uh, Hey Joe. And I actually thought that it was actually a really good song. Like, Purple Rain was there, like, Purple Haze was there, uh, bef I think before, but Hey Joe just gravitated towards me, and it just reminded me of just me playing this thing and how kind of, Quickly, I kind of gravitated towards it to the point where I played it for so off, like played it so often, uh, I could actually like uh, fill in the gaps in terms of um, like the verses. Like it's the bass guitar is very sparse; it goes like da 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 da, and then when it goes, it usually it goes da 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 da, and then it just goes back to da da da. And for me, it was like. Da, 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 and I just play the G chord like do 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 do, just you know, just to put my own feel into the song, and that's why I appreciated about the basis of the Jimi Hendrix experience because it was just it just did that it just let it it was the the bass was sparse it was left to breathe but at the same time you could put your own spin on it and that's what I did and I actually genuinely like that. Um, the song itself, the memories it gave me, it's just like, I don't know really what to say. It's just, it was more listening and listening to it occasionally. Like, I do like, I do enjoy how it like, different, like, it's not like flashy Jimi Hendrix like everybody knows. It's more like a calmer, more um, surreal, not surreal, but more um, ca like, yeah, pretty much calm version, calm side of Jimmy, like, it's actually, personally, it was interesting to me, like, um, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, it was just more, it was something that got to me kind of immediately, like, it didn't even take that much time, like, I knew who Jimmy Hendrix was, but I didn't know what Hey Joe was, and I'm like, oh, okay, this is actually fun, and, uh, the memories he gave me was just me hanging out with a friend of mine, just keep just constantly just went out with him, not not in that way, but just hung out, and we just sung the same two Jimi Hendrix songs. It wasn't until, re like, a few years ago where I heard more of the songs, and I thought, like, he's actually more than, more than just, like, setting his guitar on fire and trashing it and being all flashy. He's more like, it was actually more, uh, he's more understated as, a, like, an artist. And I just realized it because he has these other two guys, this bassist and drum, drummer, who actually can keep up time. And the studio out and the song is like really uh, can attest to that because it's actually really um, solid. For me, it was really solid at the time. I can't explain it, but it was really solid. And I just like how like it flows. I just like the flow of it and how Jimmy's voice is. And I like the instrumentation. And, like, I always like to play the ending, like, whether or not I'm listening to it on its own or just playing it on bass. It's just, it's really just something that I just like listening to constantly, like, on a constant loop sometimes. 
And, uh, yeah, I like the song. Um, I know it gets a lot of attention, and I know that um, it's a bit overplayed. I didn't know it at the time. I just really liked the song. But, you know, uh, I just knew it was overplayed a little bit um, by a lot of people, even now. But, uh, yeah, I still like the song. I haven't heard it in a while, but, you know, the memories it gave me, it's just, yeah, it's actually quite fine. So, uh, that's it for another episode of the High School Songs and Memories, and I'll see you another time. Thank you.